One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite 666, and you're watching me play Guild Wars 2 Secrets of the Obscure. We are back here. Still out here in this Nios place. Oh, something's going on. But I don't care. I just got back, finished up beating up the queen, Eparch's queen. And instead of killing her, Paytha said, oh no, we're going to keep her alive because she'll be useful. And so I'm going to find Tekla the Venerable, whoever that is. Because General Nephis said, hey, you should go find this person. They're going to be uh, real useful to uh, our plans and such. So, we are off to go find Tekla the Venerable, whoever that is. There's Tekla the Venerable. Hi. You must be the one they call Wayfinder. Paytha sent you, I presume. She has always been clever and headstrong. Tell me, what knowledge have you been sent to wrest from my weary mind, youngling? Oh, we need a way to call all of Nios to listen to Paytha at the Coliseum. Hmm, there are beacons around us that radiate. You people would say magic. Like the ones to the east that Lady Paytha and Ramses lit. Eparch uses them to drive his people into the shadows, trapped. What can I do to help? Find the beacons in Nyedra surrounds. As long as they are radiating Eparch's corruption, my kin are too scared to leave their homes. But your device, your heart, might hold the solution. You mean the magic headache rock? I mean heart of the obscure? Yes. Channel the power of your artifact into the beacons. Let your emotions run raw and pure, so the hatred and fear from the beacons might yet be purged. Only then will Nios hear Paytha's call. I can try. Anything else I should know? Even your artifact has its limits. Cleansing your beacon's emotional magic will take time, and the king's fanatics will take notice. Be wary of any enemies you may encounter along the way. Once you locate the beacons, Paytha will have the thrones she desires. For good or ill. Let us hope for the former. And if it's the latter, well, I guess I'll just put her down. Okay, so now I need to go cleanse some beacons. One, two, three. Three beacons to cleanse. Ah. Uh... Back out to it then. Speed bug up the stairs. Terrible idea. Where is this beacon? Does it taste good? Oh no, wait, that's bacon. Oh, beacon, wherefore art thou? Flown out of place. Oh, there's a mastery point somewhere up there. Hold on, let me go get distracted. Oh, mastery point. Oh, I'm probably going to need to be able to ride ley lines to get up to that. I mean, I technically can ride the ley lines. Just not on the sky scale. working on it, though. Wait a minute, did I already get this one? Am I being stupid? Yes, I am being stupid. I already got this one, ladies and gentlemen. Well, back to the beacon search. The claimed beacon color for this, this story chapter looks close enough to the uh, unclaimed or the mastery point, the unclaimed mastery point color that my brain said, oh, I haven't gotten that. V 
viewed vista. There's a beacon. Hi, beacon. Cleanse. Adrenaline building. Oh my mind. Almost ready. It's over. Hey. Feel the pain. I see. These stupid little shits are just going to sit here and spit things at it until it explodes. So I just have to sit here and not let it get spit at and exploded. Yay! The emotional energy of the beacon has been cleansed. Now I'm just going to kill you. Or you'll just run off of it. Oops. All right, let's go find us another beacon to cleanse. Oh, beacon. Tree. back here you I wasn't done killing you excuse me oh god damn I'm just gonna ruin your garbage just, just no I'm done all done ooh there's faces in that tree that's slightly unsettling. Hey, there's a giant Simon Says box. I can't open it, though, because I have not trained up that far. And I'm not training up that far. Because I'm training other things at the moment. the beacon. We should fall back from Zakiros and regroup. Excellent work, soldier. Beacons down, one to go. See those tendrils? No, I don't care the about your tendril problem. Shut up, nobody likes you. Like greedy nobody ticks. likes you. Starlight lantern. Starlight lantern. Starlight lantern. Starlight lantern. Starlight lantern. Starlight you lantern. must wipe them out. Cut the extractor supply. Starlight lantern. Starlight lantern. I'm sorry, what? The map just reset. Maybe. Boy, that's annoying. 
I think that's what one of the voices was going on about. It's like, oh, map's getting ready to reset after the meta. And that's why it popped up and said, hey, oh, I'm, uh, uh, you want to go to a new map? And I said, fuck you, I'm busy doing things here. But it said, fuck you back and yanked me to a new instance anyways. That Starlight Lantern? It is a Starlight Lantern. Starlight Lantern! I'm gonna touch it. That's bullshit. I showered before I logged back in. Thank you very much. I smell clean! I don't think I got this. Ew, it's all meaty in here. Hey, this looks like a coliseum that uh, uh, the achievement I was looking at earlier was talking about doing things in. Alright, where's this last beacon? There's a giant Simon Says box. Somewhere around here is a beacon. Astral Ward Report? I'm gonna go read that. Report on encampment assault. We spent we sent three scout teams to survey the area, and none ever came back alive. Three was more than we could afford, but we tried our best to know what we were heading into. All we really knew in the end was that they were dug in and ready for a fight. We had to soften their defenses first. It would have been suicidal to attack otherwise, so we bombarded them with made with, with I don't know what I'm thinking there. Bombarded them with spells from a distance, just like the handbook calls for. It was only when we got to the encampment and saw the bodies that we realized it had been a prison. They had been in cages when the fire came down, and there were claw marks in the... Prepare to strike. Fuck you pieces of shit! Shake I'm trying off. to read! Shake it off. It's over. There, help with that. They had been in cages when the fire came down, and there were claw marks in the walls where they had tried to escape. Many were still burning, and a smell I doubt any of us will ever forget. We cut down the loyalists who had not already fled, our anger directed at them to keep from attacking ourselves. I don't know what fate awaited them if we hadn't been there, so I can't say whether it would have been better or worse. But we failed them here, and that's something we may never be able to atone for. We'll fight on, at least, because that's what they deserve. Maybe then this loss won't be in vain. Oops, did you did you firebomb friendlies? Hey, I've done that. I may or may not have mortar struck friendlies in the past. Piss off. I don't care if there's few players remaining in this map. I'm trying to do things. If you close this map on me and kick me around again, I'm going to be upset with you, game. Alright, where's this beacon? I don't know, but I found a starlight thing. Nah, I don't want to fight that. 
I'm gonna go read this field report. Field report 15. I was just awoken by screams and what sounded like a low, the low reverberations of beating wings. I've closely watched the goings-on in what appears to be an amphitheater or coliseum below. I can only assume it has seen better times, or at least more significant times. I recall Grink chittering about it being a place of historical infamy, but I'm unable to verify that claim. A few cryptus come and go, but for the most part it seems unoccupied. Until now. I do not want to meet whatever creature is associated with those reverberations. It's easy to believe this was once a place of tragedy. Perhaps one day this great arena can be a venue for glorious happenings, if Lady Patha succeeds. I hope I live to see it. For now, I must find safer refuge, so I will work on my past to... So I will work my way past this, this decrepit arena and continue north. Operative Shelly. Shelly? Selly. I can read. He can, like, just farting around in the arena here. Nope. There's a Starlight Lantern, though. Teehee. And the Axe of Kanaxi. Last words. As you grip the axe's half, thoughts of malice and bloodlust ensnare you, assailing your mind. Treasonous cries, your founder's commands, anticipation and satisfaction, crouching in the shadows. Mosin's defiant words, stoking the host, a host of all houses, pearlescent skin, flashes, fervent colors, vibrant. Arcus's orders repeat. Earlier, the glaive's hand, the glaive's hands clasped my shoulders, prideful, assuring. Hator's envy, sumptuous. Voices swell. The ringleader sings, twirling. Arcus's orders repeat. I am his scythe. I am shadow. She shouts at the edge towards Zakyros. Blasphemies! Treachery! Twin axes drink. Silence. Kanaxi, what was that? Pretty sure that's something going way back to Guild Wars 1. But I don't remember what off the top of my head. The name is very familiar. I want to say Kanaxi was a demon involved in some of the higher end, high difficulty stuff? Maybe? But I don't think it was ever something I ever did myself. So I may be incorrect, but that name is familiar. Anyways, where's this beacon? Right here. Let's try this again. Now I have to stop fucking fucking exploiting dudes from wandering and blowing up all over it. Fortunately, they ain't too durable. Okay, draw an audience for Pathus speech. Let's go. View vistas to confirm Pathus audience. I may or may not have already looked at this one. I don't know.
Oh yes, a lot of people there, let me tell you. Alright, alright, where are we going? Back to the north. Yep, we're gonna go look at vistas we already looked at. Because, well, that's what I do. I see things and I go, ooh, what's that? It's shiny, I'm gonna touch it. I know we already looked at that one. And hey, let's go check out this other one further north that I know I've already looked at too. Man, I wish I could scale my mini-map a bit bigger. Just see a bit more going on with it. I don't think I can. No, I can only, can only make it smaller. And you may or may not have even seen that because it's going to get cut off in the editing. Alright, let's go back to Tekla the Venerable and say... The beacons are lit. Gondor calls for aid. Holy, 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 holy. Bonk. Word is spread that the beacons have changed. Nios is listening, and Lady Patha will have the audience she seeks. Are there more beacons out there? Likely. The beacons have been around for a very long time. Longer than me, if you can imagine. Only recently has the Midnight King utilized them for, more, for oppression. Well, maybe we'll deal with those too if they're ever a problem. And the beacon beside you seems to have changed too. Indeed. Changed while you were gone. Clearly connected somehow. You have your desired result, Wayfinder. Nios has come alive to listen to Lady Patha. The Colosseum of the Midnight King awakes. All right, your now I have to shape the future of all our peoples. Good luck, Wayfinder. Good luck. Now I have to go all the way back out to where I just was. <laughs> Up here. Cut a little bit of, of travel out of the distance out of the travel time. Even tides march. Coliseum of the Midnight King. <sighs> Join Patha and the others. Oh, now there's a bunch of people here. Look at all these critters. What do you hope to accomplish with this performance? Shenanigans. They need to see that even Epoch's most valiant pawn can fall. But also that mercy is given to the vanquished. <laughs> this changes nothing! They know the power of their true master. All that you prove to them is your weakness in letting me live. Save your strength, dear. You'll need it to explain your failure to your king. Children of Nios, 
You have no need to cower so. Ebok's power fades with every passing hour. Even his queen has failed to carry out his will. The old world collapses around you, and a new one is being... She certainly talks the part, does she not? And yet, the people always recognize their one true king. I've watched this farce with amusement, but it's time for the jesters to exit the stage. Honestly, did you think you would earn the trust of my critics? Do any of you trust the words of this charlatan? Speak now if you would follow this child in her outburst. I thought not. I will make only one offer. Release my queen, and you will go free. Kyriar will be spared, and you can live in exile there. Oh? No! You cannot compromise with these traitors! Not even for me! It appears we found the gap in your armor. You will not use me this way! I see now. How I have failed you, my beloved. I have become a weakness for you. But no longer. Well, that went well. What now? We continue as planned. You have awoken him now. He will marshal every force he has against you. Oh, we've been shown mercy until now. Make light if you must, but learn from this mistake before you bring ruin to my people, to your people! Each of us knew the fire we were marching into. It will take more than his anger to dissuade us now. Oh, if only all generals could have soldiers like you, Ramses. We are not yet ready. We will probe their defenses and wait for our opportunity. I will call on you then. Okay, well. Nephis, what's up? Ask your questions, Wayfinder. I can see that they weigh on you. How much stronger has this made at Park? The strength he gained from the Queen shouldn't be underestimated. But the greater danger is his wrath. He would care more about killing us than about his own survival. There is nothing that he won't sacrifice for revenge. If we are lucky, he will misstep as a result. But there will be no chance for diplomacy any longer. He will fight to his final breath. So we make him really angry and then he messes up. Will the Crypta still follow us? Some. But many will see Labrys' sacrifice as inspiring, as a model of devotion that they too should follow. You cannot truly understand their perspective. They want to believe Eppa is the benevolent leader they've been told. Witnessing martyrdom sets the soul aflame. It will be difficult to put that fire out again. Why did Epark retreat instead of attacking us? I do not know. Epark does not lack for cunning, but his blood runs hot. 
It is unlike him to forego a chance at revenge. It concerns me. He has something planned, and we do not know what. We must choose our next moves carefully. Okay. Well, that went well. Next. Even tides march completed. So we should be almost done here. Oh, I missed that. Ha, ah, Neil with Nephis to show your loyalty. Alright, well, now we just check in with Arena and Ramses. And Nephis, because he has more to talk about. Are you having second thoughts? None whatsoever. My hand was forced the moment Paytha came to my door. And the danger Epoch poses to my people has not been lessened since then. Besides, I have been a soldier since your world was young. You will find I am not so easily intimidated. And would Eparch actually have kept his word? Doubtful, but not impossible. His love for the Queen was genuine, and for her, there's little he wouldn't have done. But the better question is whether Paytha would have accepted it, and that I cannot believe. I've seen the resolve in her eyes. She will sit on the throne of midnight, or she will die trying. No other paths remain. Okay, but first, mastery point. Now, let's check in with Ramsey's Arena and wrap this up. Yes, Wayfinder? <laughs> Pitha's plan backfired a bit. It does appear that way, doesn't it? <laughs> a little bit. Even knowing how fanatically devoted Labrys was, I fail to foresee this outcome. All leaders make mistakes. I hope that this will be only a setback. We will press on regardless. We must. Will we be able to breach the Citadel's defenses? I believe so. When the opportunity arises, there will inevitably be weaknesses. But it may take time to find them. Zekiros has been built up over centuries both as a symbol of his strength and as a genuine fortress. It won't be easy. Let's hope you're as lucky as everyone believes. Well, only one way to find out. Arena. Not how I hoped this would go. Haha, <laughs> do you think Paytha made the right decision? Well, maybe this could have been avoided if we just killed Labrys right away. But maybe we'd be in the same spot. At the end of the day, we're planning to kill Eparch. Doesn't really matter if he hates us more or less. If anything, we've removed another one of Eparch's generals from the board. That's definitely a positive. Will this affect the ancest the ancestral, the astral ward's morale? I doubt it. We're a resilient bunch, and facing long odds is the nature of our work. Even trapped here, we've heard what Eparch did to our home. Until we have the bastard's head, we won't relent. They're good soldiers, Wayfinder. I'd reckon the best. We won't let you down. Alright, and wait until Galarath hears about this. It'll certainly confirm some suspicions of his. But maybe he's right. Don't get me wrong. I'm in this until the end. I owe them my life. But maybe the Cryptus are destined to be this way. I don't know. I'm a soldier, not a philosopher. And whether we get more backup just isn't my decision. The General marches to war with the soldiers she's got. If that's just us, then we'll do the best we can. Frode Has nothing to say. All right. Out of here we go. What's wrong? The situation is tense among our allies. This uncertainty about our next step grows. So too does their anger. 
idea that things were worse without your intervention. All right. I'll come knock some sense into them. We. But that'll have to wait a moment because it's time to wrap this part up. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, let me know how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I do to go from doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because my cat is sitting here meowing at me saying, Hey, pay attention to me. And I am not paying attention to her because I am doing my outro. Isn't that right, Gene? I am doing the outro. No matter how much you yell at me. You may inform me of such in the comments below. PC, PS4, PS5, and Switch for game recommendations, as that's what I have and can play and record on. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of anyone else who might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NinoElite666, as I will be using that to make news updates and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. I'm NinoElite666, and I will see you all next time, where we're getting down to the end of this. 17, we got one more after this. Desperate measures. I'm just wrapping this up before too long. Yes, you're excited, Dragon. I'm excited, too can be done with this. I had a train of thought to follow that up with, but it derailed, and I don't know. And what is this skill? Oh yeah, great stealth. Anyways, I'll see you next time. <gasps> Invisible.